Hi everyone, welcome to tea time. I have tea brewing here and it's I'm brewing the Bigelow uh, Sweet Dream Tea and it's the first time that we've had this tea together. I already started brewing it and um, and I put some in my Golden Girls mug, which I'll show you. Um, so I went to Ross today because first I went to Bed Bath and Beyond, and I was looking for those hangers with the with the clips, like these, but I couldn't find them at Bed Bath and Beyond. So I went to Ross, which was in the same plaza, and I'm so glad I did because I found like six sets of these. So. I bought six and then I um, came home, um, put all of my clothes that are in there on the floor and I realized like how much clothes I have. It's kind of like the KonMari thing. Um, and then I'm slowly taking out like all of my plastic hangers and putting it on a pile right there. Um, because I am ready to have a closet just full of wood hangers. And I was thinking I, I can use the velvety ones for my nighttime stuff because I have a lot of like PJ sets and robes and things like that. Okay, going back to the tea that I'm drinking. So I have three teas here. I have the Sweet Dreams tea. I have the Celestial Sleepy Time Tea, which is my favorite. And I have the Tazo Dream Tea, which is my least favorite, and I will not recommend this. So, um, so the, this Tazo one, I think the reason why I don't like it is because it has um, roasted chicory root, which isn't in both of those or either of those. And it also has licorice root. And I don't really like licorice. Is it licorice or licorice? Licorice. I don't like that flavor. Um, so I would not recommend the Tazo. Um, this Bigelow tea has um, chamomile, hibiscus, which I don't like hibiscus tea, like it's by itself, but I think it'll be okay with like other ingredients. Um, peppermint leaves, rose blossom, spearmint le leaves, spice, and orange blossoms. And this one has, the Celestial Sleepy Time Tea, has oh, chamomile, which is also in this, Sweet Dreams. It has spearmint, which is in here, lemongrass, which is not in here. Uh, tilia flowers, which is not in here. Blackberry leaves. Did this one have blackberry leaves? No. It had rose blossoms. Okay. So, blackberry leaves. But it was in the Tazo. <laughs> Keeps coming out. Um... Yeah, this one has blackberry leaves. Um, and then hawthorn and rosebuds. So this is the way to go. I mean, it's delicious. Yeah, I don't like I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like this system. It's not useful. I think it's useful for like um uh, like hotels, you know, like they have those systems with the teas and things like that. All right. Today's joke of the day. I love it. Um, and I saw it on Reddit, so I can't take credit. What noises do airplanes make when they bounce? And the answer is boing, boing. <laughs> and I really like that. <laughs> Cheers.
So this is a mug that I got from Ross. So I went to Ross twice today. It was one of those days. The first time I went, I got six of those hanger sets. I grabbed it with my arms. I didn't have a uh, cart with me, which was a mistake because I waited in line for like 10, 15 minutes and my arms are like sore now. Um, the second time I went to Ross, which is like, there's two Rosses near me. So I went to the second one and then when I went to the hanger section, they didn't have any like this colored hanger. So I went to the Ross in Pasadena and the Ross in the other side also had this mug. So I was like, oh, I wish this one, this Ross also had it and they had it. So I got it. Um, yeah, this is very nostalgic for me. Yeah. Um, I also got this thermos that you've already seen, but I'm going to close it. So this is the lid. And I just want to show you what happens when you open it and close it. So right now it's open. You see that subtle change? So there's like a gap right here. And then when you close it, there's no gap. So that's how it keeps it um, tight. All right. And then let's see if it's actually tight. Ooh. Even with the tea leaf thing. So that works well. I had a bad experience with thermos one time. I bought a thermos um, and it had like those clips that clipped onto the top so that it won't leak. But it was like a, this like metal U-shaped thing and it broke. Um, like after like less than a month of having it. So I had, I stopped buying like thermos branded items and then I started buying like Contigo stuff. The good thing about this thermos one is that, um, my hand is like big enough to like clean the inside. The Contigo one is like very narrow so I can, I, I can barely fit my hand. It, it still fits, but like, you know, it's a struggle. Yeah. So the thermos mug was 15 and this was six and very much worth it. Um, I got like maybe three, no, one, two, three, four, eight, five. I got five sets of 10 hangers. It doesn't have a, a hanging thing it doesn't have a bar here but that's okay I already have a lot of hangers with bars okay another thing I'm getting uh, oh, no, oh another thing I got from Ross was this pink box it was four dollars I'm in an organization mood so I also got this pink organizing box. I have a smaller one that I have. No, it's about the same size. It's a little smaller. I already have one that I'm using for my makeup section of my shelf. So I don't know, maybe I'll use this for like, you know, the closet for little socks and things like that. And that's, that's all I got. Oh. I also got the Cinderella perfume. I really like Ross because their perfume section, every perfume is in a plastic container. So you can't open it. And I already sprayed some on and it smells really good. I feel like it fits my skin really well. And I'm really bad at like, I'm really bad at telling you what kind of scent it is. It has, yeah, I don't know. 
but it smells good. And the inside looks like this, which I am not sure about this design. When I was in second grade, I had a Cinderella perfume that was, it was like, um, it was blue and it was glass, like a, like a, kind of like an opaque glass. And I think on the top I had like a shoe. It was so beautiful. And so I was hoping this was going to be that, but it's not, but that's okay. Um, and that was like $10, so it was totally fine. Um, I want to show you, uh, a couple of things that I'm also getting rid of, um, because I have been in that mood of getting rid of things. So I'm just going to empty my bag and then I'm going to put these in the bag. First item I'm getting rid of is this hat. I, I like hats. It's just, you know, I don't use it enough. And I have and I have a hat that I use from REI for walking. I'm getting rid of this top. It's my mom's. I like the fabric though. It's like rough. I really love like rough fabrics like this. It makes my it starts um, it makes my hands like start sweating, which I like. I'm also getting rid of this dress. I got it from a thrift store and has pockets, but it is so short. Like, yeah, it's cute, but it's really, really short. So I am... I'm going to have to get rid of it. I just don't feel confident enough to wear this in public. Yeah. It's not really flattering either. Because it's really thick. I'm getting rid of this top that I also got at the thrift store. It's cute. But it's a little tight and very short. So, um, I don't know what to wear it with. But most importantly, it's like a little too red. Um, yeah. I'm getting rid of this t-shirt dress from J. Jill. It's just blue. I don't really feel pretty when I wear the dress. I got it because it was on sale. And I love J. Jill. And I just folded it like this. And I'm also getting rid of this t-shirt dress. It goes to like maybe three inches above my knees. It's by Calvin Klein. I love this embroidery, but it's just, it, sh it shows like every little wave or every little curve of my body so it's not very flattering you know and then I folded it like this got folded neatly for the thrift store I'm also getting rid of this REI shirt I stopped buying clothes at REI because I'm realizing that I don't know after like less than a year, I kind of get sick of it or I just don't like it anymore. It's just a regular top. It, it, it never wrinkles. It's really good quality. Lots of pockets. Um, it's an extra small though, so it's a little tight. I'm also getting rid of this, which is unfortunate because I got it at like, I did I got it at full price. It's, it's just a regular white top, um, it like folds on the arm, it's from REI and 
It's just so wrinkly. Look. I don't want to have to, like, iron it or steam it every time I want to wear it out. It's just a hassle. And I think it was like $60. Uh, I'm also getting the green version. I call this the Jane Goodall shirt. But like, it burned the arm because I ironed it like right after I got it. And then I, um, yeah, I burned that sleeve. But you can't really tell. But I don't know, I just don't wear this green enough. And it's a little too dark green. So. Okay, I'm going to add more tea into my cup. So how's your day? Ooh. Okay, I'll just put the tea leaf, the tea bag in there. Okay, cheers. Mm. Yeah, it has like cinnamon flavor, which was unexpected, and I would prefer it if it wasn't there. And you know, they should specify what spice it is instead of like just saying spice because like it could be like cloves and a lot of people are are sensitive to cloves or ginger or something like that so they need to specify mm, okay that is good and no I will not have a nice day so this uh, mug the quote is from an episode of Golden Girls where Dorothy is on the phone um, Back in the day when you had to be on the telephone to get a ticket for a concert, and it was a Frank Sinatra concert, and she couldn't go the first two times because the first time, like, she got sick, and the second time, like, her kids got sick or something like that. So she was determined to go get Frank Sinatra tickets, and after waiting in line all day on the phone, they said that they didn't have any more uh, tickets, and then so... Um, before she hangs up, she says, no, I will not have a nice day. And then she hangs up. So that's what it is. And I'm glad that I finally have a Golden Girls mug. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of Cinderella mugs and, um, yeah, especially since like Betty White passed away and then I feel like more attached to Golden Girls items. Mm. And something kind of cool happened to me. Um, I was waiting in line at Ross and the line was so long. And so I was uh, watching the Golden Girls because I bought Golden Girls on Amazon Prime. I don't have Prime, but I do have Golden Girls. So I down downloaded the Prime app and I used that to watch the Golden Girls. And right before I was um, about to get to the cashier I briefly turned around and like this man he was like in his like 50s and he was with his daughter or maybe he was in his 40s because his daughter was kind of young um and he was like hi and then I like said hi back and he was like oh you're watching the golden girls I was like yeah and then I like even showed him <laughs> my mug that I was getting um that was in my cart so so I thought that was like really cool and he was like saying that like it's cool to watch like old shows nowadays because you know the writing the, the show is like really good and yeah. I was surprised that he knew what Golden Girls was like <laughs> he was like an his it was a Hispanic guy like he just I don't know it just, I don't know it just doesn't seem like the Golden Girls <laughs> type. I don't even know if there's like a type for Golden Girls, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, anyway. So other things I'm getting rid of. Um, all right, I'm getting rid of this thank you card. It says many thanks. I'm not going to use it. I, I've used it sometimes. Like I got this long, 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 long time ago. Maybe... Uh, um, 
when I was in my undergrad. So I was like 18, 19 maybe. I'm getting rid of this notepad as a magnet. It's just, it's useful. I just never use it. I'm getting rid of these uh, short shorts. It was useful to me back in the day when I used to go running, but I don't run anymore. I'm sorry. I'm getting rid of this Groot doll. It's supposed to like strap onto your arm. Yeah. Groot. I love Groot, but I just don't know where to put it. <laughs> I'm getting rid of this doll um, that I just, I don't really like it. I'm getting rid of this coaster. And that's why. My mugs are bigger than this turtle's back. So it's a little wobbly, you know? Yeah. I, my mom got it for me. Um, yeah, see, I just put it down. I put it on the floor, and I'm putting my Golden Girls mug, and my Golden Girls mug, like, goes back and forth. Yeah. I'm not going to keep it. It's just, it's a little stressful when it's a little wobbly. The turtle isn't wobbly, but my mug is wobbly. getting rid of this unfortunately this goes around my arm it hurts and I never use it and this goes like on your head it hurts yeah it hurts my head I'm getting rid of this bracelet because It just, I, it's hard to fasten and I'm usually by myself when I'm like getting ready and stuff. And I really don't like anything on my wrist, unless it's like a watch. Like sometimes I'll wear a watch, but I type a lot, so I don't like anything on my wrist. And I'm also getting rid of this foul play and Cabernet. It's a mystery jigsaw puzzle. It's a thousand pieces. So... Yeah, getting rid of those. And that's it. I'm just gonna put things back. Okay. Yeah, and it feels good to like kind of get rid of stuff too. Um, and I'm still organizing my clothing items. Like I have a lot behind me that I kind of wanted to um, like organize with you while chatting with you and yeah I don't know I have, I have the urge to organize things all right speaking of the advent calendar up next is this item well we weren't speaking of the advent calendar but it was next on my mind um, so this is a puzzle. I think it was like day seven or something like that. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, it was super easy because most of the pieces were edges. Um, yeah, I made the design for the snowflake, but it's, I brought it in the, in the into the living room and I'm just waiting for, uh, my mom to help me iron it out because she said, if I use the iron, then it's going to stick to the iron, I think. So I need to like put like a cloth or something over it between the iron and between the, um, the, what's it called? The star. So yeah, I, I don't want to attempt to do it myself and ruin an iron and, and something more. So and I decided to do the sand thing on the grass 
when I get the energy and time. All right. All right. Cheers. <clears throat> I just have so many clothing items. Can you? Uh, I can't see, but it's like. It's just like random tops like these that I need to cut this and I need scissors. I forgot where I put the scissors. But yeah, I'm going to or continue organizing my room and um, I will show you my closet maybe. Um, it's going to be all wood and yeah, I've already like taken out so many hangers and I've already donated or have thought about donating like a couple of things. So yeah, things are going slowly and but well. I also folded a lot of my dresses. Maybe I'll put my dresses. Okay. So I folded a lot of my dresses. Um, this one's a long one. And this one, I have a couple of dresses that I just won't wear for the winter time. Maybe I'll put it in here. Do you think it'll fit? Did I show you this? This is one item that I got from Ross. think about what I want to use these items for like I might use this for um, like socks like my little tiny socks my like walking socks and then something else yeah very exciting stuff <laughs> um, yeah um, oh this by the way is a thrifted item from Everlane. I'm not sure. It's, it's not really flattering. It's not really anything to like to show off about. But the quality is super good. So, yeah, it's just a regular, kind of like a t-shirt dress. It's not very flattering, but it's super comfortable, and it's really good quality, and it has pockets. So, alrighty. Mm. I'm going to show you today's craft item. It's this uh, squirrel and... I'm going to paint it and I'll show you what it looks like. So, yeah. All right. I will see you soon for next tea time. Bye.